Nikolai was taking a nap. My husband got up and he picked him up to put him on the couch. And that's when he noticed like his, it started with his lips right here. It was like, like spots. And he felt him and he has a fever. We're gonna let him rest and see if it's gonna go down. Gave him some Tylenol. Leading up to the day that he first got sick, daycare called me and told me that he was running a fever. The symptoms started for only three days. And after the three days, then that's when the actual rash started showing on his skin. For us, it happened super fast. Within hours, he was covered up in red spots. We're like, okay, he's obviously having an allergic reaction. Like, I'm thinking that, I'm not thinking measles. took him to the ER. The doctor saw the white spots inside of his mouth and he saw the red bumps. The younger doctors had never seen measles before. The older doctors, they had to call in to see if it was measles or verify it was measles because the older doctors have seen it before. My mom was the one who actually told me that she thinks it was measles because we, we were born in the Philippines and she saw a lot of that growing up. My son was the fourth person to get it, second toddler in El Paso, Texas, to actually contract measles. The rash he was just swollen everywhere from head to toe. I mean, all he wanted to do was lay down, sit down, they didn't want to move, they didn't want to eat. For him, I know it was miserable. His fever kept going up and down. I know he didn't eat for five or six days. Nikolai did not look like Nikolai. His eyes were red and it was remembering your healthy boy and you want to help him thinking about it, oh my gosh, like it was so scary. You don't know how bad it is until you're going through it. Like, you're always like, eh, it's okay, it's just measles. It's actually not okay and it's not just measles. I didn't realize how much it would affect my child. And even now, we have to go check up like every month. And if there's any long-term effects, it would be years down sometimes. So we do have to make sure he gets CT scans, MRIs, and just everything else for him. Learning about what it actually causes and how fast it spreads, it made me think it should have been a constant thing, keeping track on those vaccinations. And we just totally missed it. And we're human. We, we made the mistake. And I'm hoping that another parent won't make the same mistake that we did because it was tough. It was a really hard few weeks for us. We're a very pro-vaccine family, but last year there was a lot going on and my husband was deployed as well. So um, with moving around, I lost track of the vaccines. I personally get vaccinated all the time from the Army and our kids will always get their vaccines. That's the hardest part of being a parent. You think it's just having to keep an eye on the child, but no, it comes with a lot of things and one of them is getting those shots. Prevent what's preventable, get immunized. Por favor, vacuna a tus hijos, es muy importante.